A former waiter, born in El Salvador, now writes code for a U.S. Navy contractor. The young man from South Korea is using the money he makes selling pastries to help pay for community college. And a psychology major from Ecuador, who feared she'd be stuck babysitting all her life, now plans to earn a doctorate and move to New York. They are among nearly 800,000 undocumented immigrants whose lives were transformed by Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, an Obama-era federal program that President Trump appears ready to phase out. Trump, who has criticized the program but expressed admiration for the dreamers who benefit from it, plans to announce Tuesday that his administration will stop renewing DACA work permits starting in six months, those briefed on the Situations say, the six-month delay is aimed at getting Congress to pass legislation that would allow the Dreamers to remain in the country illegally. These officials said, they cautioned that, the president could change his mind at the last minute. DACA has opened unprecedented doors for young people who arrived here illegally as children or overstayed their visas. It has become, for much of the nation, a new embodiment of the American dream. The initiative shielded young immigrants from deportation and allowed them to get two-year, renewable work permits and driver's licenses and to more easily afford college. It meant opportunities beyond low-wage jobs where no official paperwork is filed, and a chance to climb the ladder and enter the spotlight at work as well as school. Taking that away is taking everything from us, said Renata Aldez, who is studying psychology at George Mason University and joined other DACA recipients last week for a meeting with Sen. Tim Kaine, DVA, former running mate to Hillary Clinton, who had vowed to preserve DACA had she been elected president.